Scrapped plans in WWE for Jeff Hardy before his release have been revealed. There were huge title changes and more at NXT New Year's Evil last night. Plus a top Raw star will compete on NXT 2.0 next week. Find out in a tickle in the wrestling news. Just under, over, whatever it was a month ago, little Andy there, Jeff Hardy was heartbreakingly released from Mm. WWE. All indications seem to point to Jeff Hardy being okay after that release but there have been some plans or some plans that didn't quite come to fruition revealed by Fightful Select there little Andy what are they when it comes to Jeff Hardy in WWE yes yeah, so Ross Jeff Hardy was planned for an NXT run of sorts this comes from Fightful Select uh, not only was Jeff Hardy factored in a lot of plans on the WWE main roster until January he was planned for an NXT run as well and uh, Hardy was released obviously by WWE in December and left it left the company scrambling says Fightful Full select as Jeff Hardy was originally planned to be the shaman for MSK. Uh, just days before the, rele- uh, the reveal, sorry, was to happen, Hardy was released by the company. And Matt Riddle, as we saw last night, had to rush to film content with MSK to make it work. Uh, so they were told, Fightful Select were told that there were numerous segments on the cutting room floor that featured Jeff Hardy as the shaman. Since then, Riddle joined MSK in a match with Imperium, won last night as well at New Year's yeah. Evil. Uh, but we haven't heard if the original plan with Hardy called for that to happen as well. Um, and uh, do you know what? I think I think Hardy would have been a fantastic, a fantastic person to be there as the shaman for MSK. It makes you wonder what sort of direction they would have gone in if it was Jeff Hardy because Mm. the implications early on were all based around weed when it came to MSK and those segments away from whatever the NXT 2.0 arena is called these days. Mm. So it would have been interesting to see what what sort of direction they would go in with the bag, if indeed there would be a bag filled with scooters and... Other, other paraphernalia. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> trying to get a scooter through customs or whatever. That would have yeah. been pretty good, actually, to see. But um, I was wondering as well whether, because in interviews and in his Broken School sessions that Jeff Hardy did, he was always talking about um, characters and kind of trying to implement new characters into his uh, into his work. And I wonder if with the Shaman thing, that would have been something completely new to see him maybe in sort of like a Willow-esque persona uh, with MSK and I I just would have liked to have seen them all tag teaming together I think it would have been a perfect fit for for MSK and Hardy he did always mention the fact that he wanted to do Willow in WWE didn't he Mm. that would have been interesting to see what would have happened there but um, if you haven't seen that multi-man tag match from last night's NXT 2.0 as we're sat here on Wednesday morning NXT took place on Tuesday night of course go and watch it it was absolutely fantastic and speaking of more fantastic professional wrestling action from NXT 2.0 no we're not being sarcastic this was generally just a very very good show wasn't it it was it it was Uh, I'm I'm quite sceptical these days as NXT used to be one of my favourite shows and now with everything changed I've, I've, I've kind of, I've, I've dropped off it a little bit. Obviously, keeping up with it for work and everything, but it's not uh, a, as frequent of a watch as it used to be for me. Uh, but last night was awesome. It was really, yeah. really good. Genuinely, really good. Multi-man match, fantastic. And the main event of the evening was fantastic as well. Edge of the seat stuff, thrilling from start to finish. Multiple times you're thinking, oh my God, Tommaso Champ is going to retain his NXT championship. But oh no, mm. we have a new champion, don't we, little Andy? And who is that new champion? Do. It's Brom Breaker. Obviously, it's Brom Breaker. Won last night. Um, took out Tommaso Champia. Champia? Champia. <laughs> Tommaso Champa <laughs> with a Steiner recliner, which was really, really nice to see. A bulldog and a Steiner recliner. And then, uh, and yeah, Champa taps out. And um, it's really starting to feel like the new guard of uh, of NXT 2.0 is is beginning to take over. Um, and it's it's nice to see as well because Bron Breaker, honestly, put on a really, really good match with Tommaso Ciampa, obviously a veteran in the ring and uh, an and, and NXT staple for such a long, long time. And to see him gel really well, to see Bron Breaker gel really well with Tommaso Ciampa or, or someone that's just of that high caliber, is uh, it's really, really cool to see and impressive to see as well. Yeah, obviously, it's on a different level to the sort of main roster of Raw and SmackDown and whatnot, but mm. we're sat here in this job, aren't we, saying, why aren't they creating new stars? Yeah. Who's going to be there at the Legends night in 20 years' time when the, the Legends who are around today, like your Goldbergs and whatnot, just can't be there because they'll be in an old retirement home, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's fantastic to see they've got someone that they've got that they've got belief in and they're just going mm. with them, and it's fantastic. Because last night was just Bron Breaker's 14th match yeah. in his career and he's NXT champion. But of course... 
I don't know what it, it's not a controversy, but it's a it's a gripe with certain professional wrestling mm. fans that he had this fantastic name um, and they gave him a different name. Yeah. And then they, they drop all these references to what the name would have been if he didn't change the name. But now it looks like we might be getting towards going back to that name mm. if that makes any sense there, Andrew. Because who was in the ring after the match there, young man? It was his daddy, Rick Steiner. Came out. Don't you dare call him Steiner, though. Oh, oh, so, oh sorry, so, sorry, 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 sorry. Don't don't call him that. But yeah, his dad came out. His dad came out. Yeah. and he ha- held his arm up and everything and it was a really nice moment and uh, I think that's going to be like a big the big thing do you think we'll see that in NXT or do you think we'll see him on the main roster before long and that's when they'll have the big old name change in an ideal world I would love to see Rex Steiner debut on the main roster and mm. have a sort of Bro- a Brock Lesnar-esque 2002 sort of run maybe yeah. not get into the world title but why the hell not the why the hell not I, I mean I can see them I can see them doing that it very much seems like they are strapping the rocket to uh, to Bron Breaker so I mean it's not out of the realm of possibility I don't think yeah, it's a new champion. Lovely scenes in the ring with, uh, with, uh, with. Uh, oh my God, the dog face Gremlin in there as well. And Tommaso Champ uh, went up to to Rick and, and shook his hand in a lovely moment as well. Champ mm. on Instagram last night posting thank you with some black and gold hearts. What the future holds for him, we have no idea. Maybe a rumble appearance in a little main mm. roster run. I've got no idea. Just speculating here. What do you reckon? No, I think I think you I think you hit the nail on the head there. I think we see him in the rumble, and uh, I mean he's spoken openly before about being on the main roster and he he seems to think that if he was on the main roster he'd have some sort of uh like a a, a good run and i'd like to hope so as well you know i'd, I'd quite like to see tomaso champa and randy orton a widow's bell and draping ddt off that would be quite Ooh, fun to see saucy saucy saucy, saucy. Um, elsewhere sorry go on. oh sorry no you go you go sorry i was gonna move on elsewhere on the card last night we saw carmelo hayes and what was maybe the most expected result of the mm. the, the, the predictable result of the card last night he unified uh, unified the nxt cruiserweight and north american championships another fantastic match where carmelo hayes just proved once again He's another one for the future, and another person yeah. again behind it is fantastic to see. One move they did, him and Roddy Strong, who of course was the Cruiserweight Champion, heading in to last night's show. They did off the middle rope. I thought they were both going to die. Oh. It has a weird name. I can't remember what the name is here because it's early in the morning, but my God, they were flipping through the air. Roddy Strong was going on his belly. It was incredible. Have you seen it? Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I've seen that bit. Oh that was towards God. the end, right? Was that towards oh the end? Oh, my God. Yeah. It's just like they're going to die. And then there's some whole <laughs> Carmelo flips through and then Roddy Strong sort of dives like, oh, it's incredible. Oh, my God. Um, but do you know what? Like, um, yeah, as, as you were saying, I think that was the expected the expected result there. And it's a shame to see the Cruiserweight Championship go. I know, obviously, it was kind of just there after a little while. You know, there was a lot of stuff put, put behind it before and they brought it back and changed the color of it. And I thought, oh, maybe they are actually going in like a nice direction with this. And then unfortunately, Unfortunately, things kind of petered out with it. Um, and, you know, I don't know what this means for like, I mean, 205 Live recently hasn't really had people of 205 weight statues on there anyway. They've been kind of over that. Um, so uh, what's going to happen there? I'm not sure. But uh, all the more power to Carmelo, Carmelo Hayes. I think he's got a really bright future. Future? Future too. It's been a while, Ross, since doing one yeah, of these. It's, it's, the, it's the new year fog, isn't it? The, obviously, <laughs> the crew's weird tight line of highlights this day. I've yeah. The Enzo Amore reign I thought was fantastic. Mm. Neville obviously did great work with it, but since the since it left the main roster, so to speak, it's just sort of gone. Yeah, you know, so Leo Rush had a little bit of a, a decent run, I think, with it as well. That was quite exciting, and that was the 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 point where I was starting to think, oh, maybe they are investing a little bit more into this now. And yeah. and as you say, yeah, it kind of just just petered out after that. So unfortunate, but we'll see what happens later on. They might bring it back. You never know. Who knows what might happen in the World Wrestling Federation. Elsewhere on the card last night, the Dusty Rhodes Classic was announced to be returning in 2022. It'll kick off on NXT in two weeks' time. Uh, it was revealed that the 2022 Women's Dusty Tag Team Classic will begin in February. So they're not going to run in line with each other. They're going to be separate. And that's, yeah, that, that, that's I feel good. like I feel like that's... Has that happened before? I think that might have happened yeah. last year where it started a little bit later as well. Uh, excited to see what teams we're going to get. Uh, I assume there'll probably be some thrown-together teams, but sometimes there's some of the best ones like Pete Dunne and uh, and Riddle as well they were a really good team together so we'll 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 see what happens but it's always a, it's always exciting i i like the i like the dusty classic i think it's always really good 
Well, yeah, tournament's always good. You would mm. assume in the ladies' one, the main event, or the, sorry, the final will be someone toppling Toxic Attraction, finally. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Who knows what might happen. And also, next week on NXT, we will see a main roster superstar appear Ooh. after something that happened on last night's show. Who is that main roster superstar? Bam, bam, bam. It's AJ Styles. Uh, so, yeah, AJ Styles is going to face Grayson Waller next week on NXT. So, Styles appeared last night at New Year's Evil to confront Waller, spoiling for a fight and there and then but uh waller was like no 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 he backed down before attempting to sneak attack styles only to get i i think this is i always say it wrong but i think it's the pele it's a pele kick isn't it pele well, pele if you, if you know who pele is it's a pele kick but if you're american and you don't know who pele is it's a pele it's kick. a pele kick okay a pele, <laughs> a pele kick uh for his trouble yeah he got a pele kick and uh yeah the match is set between the two for next week obviously recently grace and waller's been calling out AJ Styles and he's been hanging on for too long um, to his wrestling career and uh, AJ Styles has turned up on, on NXT like some weeks prior talking talking about hey no look come on then come fight me if you want to fight and uh, he keeps backing down Desire Grayson Waller he keeps backing down but uh, next week is seemingly the time where it's all going to go down which I'm looking forward to another thing another thing I think about this NXT 2.0 is I feel like they're doing a good job of bringing in superstars from the main roster and sort of well cemented superstars from the main roster to put over these new superstars because i mean it again when nxt 2.0 was announced and all these character based people started turning up it was a bit like for me at least it was a little bit of an eye roll apart from tony d'angelo i'll, I'll put that out there now <laughs> um but it's nice to see that they're actually investing in these in these characters and a lot of them are really decent wrestlers as well that you can see have bright futures ahead of them and uh i think grayson waller and, and aj styles will have a, a good match together yeah it'll be a fantastic match and i hope <laughs> aj styles kicks him squarely in the face because he said <laughs> aj styles his theme isn't very good ridiculous ridiculous Terrible. And I can't wait to find out in the YouTube comments that the Pele kick is actually named after something else and not footballing superstar Pele. Is I it can't because wait to hear that. did he do like a backwards kick or something for a goal? Is that is that what that is? He probably did it a few times. He was one of the greatest players ever. I, I know. Yes, football. I know. <laughs> football, soccer, all around the world. Anyway, elsewhere on the card next week, we'll see Zion Quinn face Santos Escobar as the whole sort of flirty McFlirt stuff with Alexa Lopez continues because she will leave with the winner. She gets the prize. Fl the man. F just, just look at that. That's that's not good. Have have some allegiance there. What's that all about? <laughs> and elsewhere, Pete Dunne will face Tony D'Angelo in a crowbar on a pole match. <laughs> and I've been reliably formed in my ear. Former WCW superstar, crowbar will not be on the pole. Oh, be disgusting. Crowbar, disgusting behavior. What? what Marv would try to get into the house with on Home Alone. <laughs> One of those crow's bars. Anyway, last night on the YouTube channel, me and Adam did a helium challenge and Adam ate some snails and I ate some snails. Go and watch it. It's a great laugh, isn't it, Andrew? It's really... I, I was uh, I was stood there, very very distanced, uh, watching it and and I was rolling. Ruffle. I was ruffle coptering everywhere. He was Ramowin, He was pumicillin. He was lolling. Uh, any closing remarks from you there, young Andrew? No, no. Just uh, Happy New Year to everyone. It's nice to be back. And... Uh, uh, and yeah, just stay tuned for some more wrestling news in the future. We will be back with some in a couple hours' time. I've been Ross, he's been little Andy. We'll see you in a few hours' time. I don't know why I said that with such aggression. I'll do it again. We'll see you in a few hours' time. <laughs>